What's up guys, today I'm going to be doing a top 10 list of my favourite freeware uh, items that I have. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First up is um, probably have to be probably C Cleaner. Um, I really do lo love this program. Um, what, what it does, I'll open it up for you. Here you can search all loads of folders and applications and everything and you just click analyze I, I only did this about five minutes ago so you click, click on Hano, analyze and it analyzes and it searches for all, all those files that's non needed it frees up your memory and makes everything a lot quicker as you can see it's found Windows Explorer, Visa Documents, Google Chrome that um, I do like those but I just delete them anyway it frees up space um, it, it will free up more than this, but it's just because I um, only did it like five minutes ago. So if I press Run Cleaner, once I've analysed it, it'll clean all those off, and then it'll and it'll come up how much I've how much uh, memory I've freed. Um, it just makes things a lot quicker and a lot cleaner. And you can do a, a custom one installer. So if you can't find an installer, you just find the program that you've downloaded, then hit on Run Installer. So that's number one. Number two, um, probably have to be spy, uh, I don't know, probably Spybot Search and Destroy. I'll open this up for you. And that it takes about two minutes to load up, so uh, yeah. What it is, is it searches for all those viruses and things. Um, by the way, a lot of these are to do with antivirus because I am very protective. I hate viruses so much, and I got them on my other laptop and it broke it. So that's why I got a lot on this account on this uh, laptop. Um, yeah, I'll come back once it's loaded up. Okay, this is the program. Spybot Search and Destroy 1.6.2. When you first load it up, you know, when you've run the setup and everything, um, just click check for problems. I'm not gonna do this because Temporary files scanning this field will increase if you allow us to clean your temporary folder. Do you want Spout to do this for you? I'm going to hit on yes. Our use cannot be removed, but all the rest, it'll scan it, but it does take a long time, so I'm going to hit on stop check. Um, it doesn't take too long, depends on how often you do it again. But it is um, a very, very helpful program. Um, it's free, it says donations, you can donate if you want, but I did not because it's free and sounds a bit cheap but oh well uh, two sec uh, I'll be back in a minute when this is closed down ok up next will probably be this program right here it's called it's called defragler and it's hard to explain what, what it is so I'm, sure I'm, I'm actually doing it right now but it does take it can take quite a few hours to do this what you do is just hit on it, choose your drive, I chose local DC, where all your memory still click analyze. What it is, is all these little files, um, sometimes if you delete a file there will be a space in your memory, and all this does is you analyze it, it looks for the holes, and then it squishes all the memory back up together. This makes it quicker, um, like opening programs, stuff like that, because they're closer together and it's easier for you to find, for the computer to find. It's easier to find the stuff that it needs to open a program. So this program is very helpful and it can make your computer a lot quicker. Okay, in fourth is probably gonna be file shredder. I'll open this up. It's like recycle bin, but a lot more useful. And in recycle bin there is ways to get the stuff back that you've already got rid of, but this there's no ways uh, say if I wanted to get rid of a uh, just a folder, I'd drag it in here and then I press shred files now. Press shred files now and it's shredded and there's no way of even getting them back. Uh, it's brilliant, I love the program. Up in sixth, uh, probably gonna be Mozilla Thunderbird. I'll open this up. All it is is an email client, it's just my email client. I don't could use Outlook Express, but um, I just prefer Mozilla Thunderbird because it's a lot quicker and uh, a lot easier to set up. Um, very simple, you just type in your username and password for the email. Uh, this is my email. My email is, is uh, 
comp tutorials at hotmail.com. If you have any questions or you want to request a video, please feel free to email me. And uh, I'll try. I check it every day, so don't worry. I will get out and I will reply to all the comments, all everything. And um, so it's a really nice email client. All of these links will be in the description where you can get them from. Seven is gonna have to be probably a vast free antivirus. I'm open this up. It's probably the best free antivirus you can get. Um, it's very nice actually. Um, it, there's no. It's just really nice. It scans fairly quick. Um, very nice. Uh, very very good antivirus program I'll post a link in the description where you can download all of these I think all of these have been um, antivirus apart from two or three I don't know but most of my freeware programs make affect the computer speed uh, it's the computer speed the, the functionality of it and all that good stuff um, in ninth I think we are is eighth no ninth Probably gonna have to be AVG free 9.0. Looking this up, it's just another free antivirus. Um, it's very good. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or post me in the comments or send me a message, and I'll try and get round to them. Uh, I do reply to all comments and I read them all. I do reply. Um, so yeah, that's AVG. Just a simple antivirus program. Tenth. I've got two cross pro. Well, I've got ten, two um, two giant ones. Probably uTorrent. I do like this. I do not download things like Photoshop. I did pay for this. Um, I do not download illegal stuff. I just down. If I want something, I'll type it in here. Like, say if I wanted a uh, free program, I don't type it in there. And Torrents are not illegal. The only thing that's illegal about them um, is when you download stuff that are usually paid. If they're free, all it's doing, it, the only the only thing it's doing is pointing you in the, in the into the fastest download place where you can get it from. So that's between you torrent, just a, um, a torrent client, and and for my other giant tenth is free YouTube downloader converter. I'll open it up. Bit of a name. I don't know how they came up with it. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to do this, you press skip. And uh, say, say if you wanted to download a thing and convert, you just click click on download and convert video from YouTube. Then the URL, you just, in your, in your browser, you just uh, right click and copy and press paste and do it in there. Start uh, saving, convert into whatever you want. Converts into a lot of different files, uh, all of these. I use it actually. To convert from MOV to Windows Media Video. Um, so yeah, this has been my top ten freeware programs. All links will be in the description where you can get them from. Um, they really do help. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out my other videos. And I'll see you in my next video.